What's going down y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing another face shave on a woman. Now the woman in today's video is Latina. She's from Chile. Uh, so if I have any Chilean supporters out there, let me know none of the comments. Now actually, fuck that. If I have any Latino women, period, you know what I'm saying? If you are Hispanic by any means, show some love down in the comments. Let me know where y'all from and where you guys are showing support from. But I mean, other than that, let's get into the video. All right, so our first things first, we have to start out with the pre-shave treatment. Now with the pre-shave treatment, our main goal is to remove any contaminants in the top layer of the skin, such as oil, sweat, dirt, makeup, that could possibly get in the way of the razor doing its job when actually shaving the hair. And now that the pores are opened up just a little bit, we're gonna apply some Easy Blaze Shave Oil. Now what the shave oil does for me, it just creates a foundation of lubrication and moisture. After this, you guys will see me, I will massage to the face, so I have to have some type of lubrication. But not only that, it's gonna help soften up the hair, so when we do shave it, it just comes off like butter. And like I said, we're gonna be massaging the face using this dual temperature ultrasonic face massager. You can make it as cold as you want or as hot as you want, but for right now, we need the heat. Uh, so what the heat's gonna do combined with the ultrasonic vibration is gonna open up the pores a step further. Uh, it's gonna increase blood circulation to the face. But most importantly for me, I want my client to feel as relaxed as possible. So what this does, it breaks down the muscle tension and any aches in the face. So it just leaves the face super relaxed. And this step right here is very important. I wanted to share with you guys. Before she came in, she had expressed that she wanted to shave off her sideburns and some of the baby hairs in the front of her forehead. So right here, I was just reassuring and reaffirming that's what she actually meant. Like I wanted to know, are these the hairs you want shaved off? Um, the hairs in the front, like what do you want? And she was just telling me like, yeah, I get them waxed off anyway, so go ahead and shave my sideburns and the baby hairs. So that's what we did. Then we're gonna apply some Easy Blaze Shaving Gel from EasyBlazeShavingProducts.com. Now, if you guys do remember, I did apply some shave oil in the beginning so those two combine the shave oil and the shave gel just leaves the hair super soft and it leaves the skin lubricated that way the razor glides a lot easier And moving on to the actual shaver and start off with the sideburns. Now, when I was doing the sideburns, when I tell you it was the most satisfying thing to do and watch, but sadly enough, my arm gets in the way. So my arm is in the focus of the camera. Uh, it happened on the other side of the face as well. So I apologize for that. But when I tell y'all this was the most satisfying thing to do, let alone watch, man, I apologize for real. But as you guys can see, with one pass of the razor, how much hair is coming off the face, but not only that, how much better her skin looks with one pass. You know what I'm saying? I do multiple passes on the skin to get some of the hair and then some of the dead skin and any other stuff that's on the face. But with one pass on the razor, look how much hair is coming off the face and look how much more smoother and even her skin tone is. Uh, but if you're watching this as a woman, you're like, I don't understand how someone has that much hair on their face. If you got this done, you would be surprised how much hair is actually on your face as a woman. It's a lot of hair that you can't see, but when you add shave oil and shaving gel that, that clumps the hair up together like this, it, it looks so much more dramatic than what it actually is. So as you guys can see, man, her, her face is pretty hairy. I cannot, I cannot lie. So if you guys find this satisfying, you're welcome.
Now, if you're someone watching this video and you're wondering to yourself, why the hell would a woman do this to their face? Look at these results. Her skin is a completely different color. The complexion is brighter, smoother, more even. After one pass with the razor, shaving half of her face, that's the result. And moving on to the forehead, like I told you guys, she did want these baby hairs in the front taken off. So it doesn't really matter what direction you shave because we're going to end up going with the grain anyways to take off those baby hairs. Uh, so our main focus right now is to remove all the hair on the forehead itself and then we'll work on the baby hairs. And now to get rid of these baby hairs, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shave with the grain. What I mean by with the grain is shave from top to bottom. I'm not really too focused on avoiding that harsh lineup because I'm gonna go with my shears and even them out, blend them into the natural hairline. And that's how we avoid that harsh lineup somewhat like a guy. Now, if you guys are wondering what my least favorite thing to do about shaving somebody's face, it's definitely the chin and mustache area. No matter how many faces I've shaved in my life, no matter how many chins I've shaved, every time I'm in this area, I get a little bit of anxiety. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I get a little nervous, not to the point where I'm shaking, but I just, I pay more attention to what I'm doing in this area because it's so easy to nick somebody, especially in the chin area and the mustache. Oh man, I just, I get a little bit of nervousness and anxiety when I'm in these regions, for sure.
Now what you wanna do before the post-shave treatment is go wash your hands. It's very important that you do this because those contaminants that we just took off her face are now onto your hands and you're about to touch a freshly shaven clean face. So you don't wanna contaminate new skin by not washing your hands. So after you do that, you wanna apply some rubbing alcohol. Now what the rubbing alcohol does in the post-shave treatment, it disinfects the skin and it's gonna remove any of that shave oil and shave gel that we might have left on the surface. Then we're gonna wet down the face with some water to get ready for the face wash. Then we're gonna apply some organic face wash to the skin, go in with a rotating ultrasonic three-speed cleansing brush. And we only do this to exfoliate the skin, get a deep cleanse after a nice shave. And it's very important that you exfoliate the skin and get deep inside the pores. So before we moisturize the skin, we want to clean it as best as we can. And that's what it's doing with the organic face wash and the, and the rotating brush. And after that, you wanna spray an aftershave spray. This is a cucumber mist spray infused with witch hazel and vitamin A. And now that the skin is completely clean, what you wanna do is build up proper moisture in the skin. So first things first, we're gonna apply some rose oil. Now, if you never heard of this, for one, it's the best product I own in my inventory. Um, it fights redness, it helps with scarring, it's a natural moisturizer, it helps with wrinkles. But after this, the product that you guys will see is an organic face cream. When you combine the rose oil with the face cream, it's game over. Your skin is gonna be completely glowy, moisturized. The elasticity is gonna improve so much. Um, but if you, even if you just use the rose oil by itself without this organic face cream, you're good to go. Trust me. And the last step of this whole process is to use the frozen jade stone roller. Yes, it is actually frozen. I do keep it in the freezer because I need it cold. Now with the coldness of it combined with the rolling action, it smooths out any wrinkles and fine lines. It soothes the skin from any irritation of the shave. Uh, it minimizes the appearance of your pores, but most importantly, it's breaking down any aches and tension in the muscles, leaving the client super relaxed. Anytime I ask my client, what was your favorite part of the service? They always say the frozen jade stone roller. Sure. Does it feel soft? Yeah, it feels super soft. Yeah. It feels really good.